Hi, it's Jules Apollo. Welcome to Power Up Starlight. It's time to shine, where I share playful ways to meditate and create based on channeled messages from my spirit guides and star beings. Let's have some fun. So this is a solstice podcast. And when I was thinking about this transmission and getting ready, I actually put it off for a while because there was so much joy coming in that I thought perhaps I wasn't hearing or perceiving clearly because there can be a heaviness to the solstice, a solemnity. I think that's the correct word. And here's what I'm sensing on this one. I did a Alexa briefing this morning on this about the fact that this is opening a doorway to dreaming. And I was reminded of a message that came through where the phrase, the currency of now is dreams and you are rich with it. And I think that is what we are moving into. So I'm going to go ahead and let them speak. We are coming in now with a very vast transmission field. Many beings of high light. Many light ships. Many doorways and pathways are opening now. If you are thinking of the doorway as a door in your house, let me tell you that what this actually is, is a massive portal. The difference between the door in your house and this portal is as if we're in front of a big airplane hangar, like you see at the airport sometimes. That's the kind of portal that is opening for this solstice. And many of us are here, many star beings, many ancestors, many angelic hosts, many representatives of what are called goddesses and gods, beings of myth. We are here now at this portal to help you remember your truth. Many of you will begin remembering your connections to star beings in the coming year. Many will remember embodiments as priestesses of goddesses. Many will remember times on starships, experiences on other worlds. We know that this has been a difficult year for many. Heavy energies, planetary chaos, politics that make you feel despair at some times. And that is why we come forward now with such power and such light and so much joy. You can bathe in this river of light of joy that we are sharing in this transmission. And we ask that you do that, that you bathe in light and bathe in this joy and then face the portal and the gateway. Moving forward into the energy of the new year through this solstice and through the remainder of the year as you prepare for your January 1, empowered, remembering your truth, your light, and so many dreams that you might have buried. Your dreams carry the resonant frequency of your path, of your mission in this life. Many times, many of you have buried Your biggest dreams, the ones that you had when you were seven or six or eight or ten, that you convinced yourself or had others convince you were not possible. We ask that if you have any kind of solstice ritual, that it involves you dreaming. Whether you think it can come true or not, just play with it. For instance, one of the things that Jules has always dreamed of is taking a ride on the Orient Express, taking a luxury train ride. She does not think this is possible, but she allows herself to look at videos and to just imagine it. Whether it comes true or not, it doesn't matter. She is allowing it to play through her mind. And if such a time comes forward when when it is possible or she is urged or feels inspired to take next steps, then that is what will happen. We are asking you to plant seeds with your dreams at this time. Just allow them to become part of your awareness again for those that have been buried deeply. 
and for things that you have been dreaming of for a long time that you're aware of, see them, feed them, comfort them, that you know that they're there and you are paying attention to them. There is great power in your dreams. They can allow aspects of yourself to unfold that you could not have imagined were possible. And as part of this unfolding, in many instances, comes the memory of who you truly are. Who you can call family. And the power of the love and light that you carry inside you. So as you move through this solstice energy and the energy of the full moon following it, you can see the light in your heart as a small flame or as a blazing star. But spend time acknowledging that power, that light inside you. Let your dreams expand it. Set an intention to anchor your light, to anchor your power on the physical plane. To plant your dreams with your intention and your power. Be the embodiment of your dreams. All of us present can be called upon by any name that feels comfortable to you. We are surrounding you now with the highest love, with so much grace, with the energy and the power to make your dreams manifest. May you be blessed by it. So be it and so it is done. So this is Jules. I love the solstice. I love the light that is around us all at this time of year. And I spend time thinking about my life and what I want to let go of and what I want to celebrate and empower for the new year. If you would like a very simple solstice ritual, you can think of what you don't want to have in your life, what you're ready to let go of. Lessons that you've learned that can now move on. You can write that on a piece of paper and burn it. You can brew a cup of tea and put the paper in there and then throw out the water and throw out the paper if you're not in a place where it's easy to burn. And you can create a simple ritual again with a cup of tea or with a glass of water stating your intentions and your dreams for the new year out loud. And the phrase, so be it and it is done, is a very powerful phrase with, said with intention. And then you can drink the water. You can toast to your new life. These are very simple rituals, but when done with intention are extremely powerful. And you can do them wherever. Nobody has to know what you're doing. They don't take much time. And they can create a magical life for you. I would love to hear if you have any other solstice rituals or how this ritual went for you. Thanks for listening. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would subscribe and share it with your friends, and I would be so appreciative of a positive review. Thanks for listening. <music>